Hello and Assalamu Alaikum. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about assembly link execute cycle. As it is obvious that a source program written in assembly language cannot be executed directly on its target computer. It first needs to be translated into executable format. To understand this conversion of source file to executable file, let's see this figure. In step 1, a programmer uses a text editor to create a source file. The extension of source file is .asm. The source file consists of program source code. In step 2, the assembler reads the source file and produces an object file. An object file contains a machine language translation of the program. Optionally, an assembler also produces a listing file. A listing file contains a copy of the program's source code, line numbers, offset address, and translated machine code. The extension of listing file is .lst. In case of errors, the programmer must return to step 1 and fix the errors. In step 3, the linker reads the object file and checks to see if the program contains any calls to libraries or functions. The linker copies required libraries or functions from the link library, combines them with the object file and produce an executable file. The extension of an executable file is .com. In step 4, the OS loader utility reads the executable file into memory and branches the CPU to the program's starting address and the program begins to execute.